Hello and welcome to Epic Mad Science. Ow! Okay, so right here I have a spring, and right now it's in what we're going to call its rest position. Now, when we begin to take it out of its rest position by either stretching, compressing, or twisting it, it begins to exert a force to pull back into its rest position, or to get back into its rest position. Now, it does that, and it's proportional to the amount of distance you stretch it, compress it, or twist it. So say we take this spring, and I stretch it out to here, and we're going to call that it's going to exert a force X. Now, say I double the distance it's stretched, then it's going to exert a force 2x because it's directly proportional to the to the um, distance stretched. So now I have this mouse trap. Oh boy! Yeah. Now say I now with the mouse traps, you're twisting it, and it's directly proportional to how the distance you twist it. So. That would mean it would be directly proportional to the angle at which you elevate, in, or the angle in which you twist it. So, for this mousetrap, for instance, when I twist it to 45 degrees, let's call that, let's again call that X. But now, say I twist it to 90 degrees, and we're gonna, and then that will exert a force 2x. And you should be able to feel it if you do it at home. You can take a spring and stretch it to a certain distance, and then try doubling it. And you should feel a force that's about double of what you felt in the first place. So, now we're going to move on to showing you some of these springs in action. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate some of the functionality of springs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into that trampoline that's going to be filled with mouse traps. Oh boy. And then, just for good measure, I'm going to roll down a hill over there that's going to be lined with them. I have a feeling this is going to suck. All right. I stepped on one. I think I got all of them. <laughs> 